Hello to everyone. My name is Patrick Loreiro. I'm uh, uh, from Portugal and today I will present you um, uh, a job uh, that we have done, uh, me and Rui. Uh, Rui today is not available. Uh, he will connect at the end to answer the questions uh, because he, he had a a small um, uh, work to do, so uh, is not uh, here at the moment. Um, our presentation is about uh, Archbeam uh, in Portugal, uh, but uh, um, what uh, we try to do is um, a web platform to connect uh, Heritage Beam in in all countries and have a database of uh, uh, information connected in in, in all countries. Um, let's tr start a little. Um, we have a small introduction. Uh, uh, it's uh, the heritage. Uh, it's um, like a, a people. Uh, sometimes we have uh, small problems and uh, we need to go to the hospital. So the buildings have the same. Uh, same problems and uh, we need um, just to take care about that and um, and uh, try uh, help the buildings to to, to be better um, we we are very focused uh, on what uh, it happens uh, right now uh, we have a, a, a bad uh, example in Portugal, it's the monastery of Alcobasa, and uh, that thing uh, happens uh, because nobody cares about what is um, uh, beside the the, the concrete. Um, these stairs uh, are very old. I think uh, nine. Uh, uh, 900 uh, years, more or less, and someone uh, think it to, to 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 make a new stair, and uh, uh, he don't think it about a uh, wood stair or um, steel stair, uh, but think it uh, it's better put some concrete. Uh, on top of the 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 stone and uh, uh, if uh, we need reverse this to the old uh, stone is not possible because the concrete it's there and this is very difficult to to retire um, the the concrete um in the other hand we have um the Dresden Church in Germany. Uh, every knows, uh, everyone knows the, the story of this, and um, uh, this is a, a, a interesting um, solution. In uh, 1958, uh, they started think about um, how he can uh, again uh, restore the the church and. Uh, they they made um, a lot of um, uh, studies. Um, we have here a, a graph where we can see some computers doing um, different uh, different things. Uh, this today with BIM is very it's more easy to do, but. Um, uh, in that in in the 60s was not so easy to to make this uh, this kind of uh, of change and uh, the result it's uh, interesting because um if we see some image before the war and uh, now the, the church is have the same image and um, and it's uh, it's okay. So let's continue. Um, well, um, 
we will not uh, talk about uh, BIM uh, and what is BIM, uh, but um, only uh, make this point where um, the to to change something on BIM to 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 accomplish the heritage, heritage um, uh, models. Um, we have a, already have a lot of information, so uh, we don't need to um, create uh, uh, more information because we have uh, interesting documents. And uh, I have here uh, some documents from the historic in England. And uh, uh, these documents are um, able to, to, to download and uh, are very interesting um, to each one, one that wants uh, start with Heritage Beam in this in his country. About the softwares, the same. Uh, um, what we will talk about here is is not um, how I can use uh, Revit or another software, but uh, we will talk about um, um, how we can uh, pick uh, the the ideas where uh, are uh, where we have on on Revit, for for instance. Um, and uh, apply this uh, in another softwares to 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 have uh, the, the final model. So in Revit we can use uh, uh, Dynamo to to make some uh, some some different models and families. Uh, we can use uh, Grasshopper and Rhino uh, as a, a second, uh, a second software or a different software because uh, some people likes uh, use Revit and some people don't like to use Revit. So have another another um, software to to do that. And uh, um, another thing is uh, here we have a point cloud and now we we have uh, some plugins. Uh, inside Revit to model um, from the from the point cloud and, and um, make the, the the objects we need. Um, let's only play a small video here. Um, this is the this is the the plugin we have. Um, to work with Revit and Heritage Beam. Um, so what we are seeing, seeing is um, from the, the, the point cloud or the photogrammatic models, uh, create uh, objects uh, inside, inside Revit. Uh, another, another way to, to do this uh, it, on the um, maps, and this one is another software. Uh, I think everyone knows the ACA software, and this is very interesting because we can um, uh, we can tag all the um, all the bad uh, inf bad things we have on the model. Uh, so it's another software uh, we we use it uh, to to make our first uh, mock-up of this uh, platform. Um, another thing we are trying to, to study and see how we can um, implement is um, how we can connect uh, the, the, the heritage models uh, with the with, um, with the Google Earth or uh, another uh, platform where we can um, we can uh, uh, upload this information. Actually, what we are seeing, seeing now it's um, 
the next se step uh, to Google Maps and uh, this uh, it's a uh, news from June so it's uh, very recent and uh, what they think about this is um, how we can uh, interact with the um, 3D model uh, and um, actually I think we can we can uh, we are already on the on this uh, this point and we can use uh, um, the information to to put there uh, the models another thing we can do on the heritage beams and the the, the models uh, is uh, for instance um, use the model and use uh, image or uh, drawings small drawings to to overlay the information and to know what uh, we are uh, um, studying um, for instance here we can we can see the the, um, the white paint is what we are what the what we have on the on the stone um, let's continue Okay, uh, let's start um, with our mock-up and explain what we have done. Um, uh, as I told, this started in an academic uh, project and uh, right now uh, we are developing this um, with some uh, people in Portugal and uh, trying to, to have a uh, web platform or a common data environment uh, for heritage beam um, and trying to, to have all information in, inside this. Uh, I, I will not um, talk about the, the, the register of assets because right now it is not possible to do it. Uh, only us, we can have, uh, we can uh, do that. But uh, what I will talk about is um, about uh, about the um, the how we can use this uh, web platform. Uh, we have the base is the Google Maps, and we can start registering um, the um, the assets, um, and we can make different po uh, waypoints. Uh, to to have um, to have different uh, information uh, on the model. So uh, if I pick on the blue uh, blue uh, waypoint, I have uh, place uh, heritage place. But if I put the I pick on the on the red, I will have a monument or a building. Uh, inside this, uh, we can have the location and uh, the name, and after we will um, we will have um, all the information. Uh, we can start uh, by the historical evolution. Uh, we think it's a very important uh, uh, 3D model or a beam model um, that we need uh, have to understand uh, the building um, and uh, right now what he, we have we can disconnect every everything sorry this is not working okay i don't, I don't know why this is not uh, hiding the, the information okay, let me see if we have a problem with the the platform okay but i can explain um this is the first uh, the first building here is the first in the year 661 and uh, what we can do it's um, ins ins insert some information on these um, objects 
and uh, telling about what is this on the on the building okay we have uh, this is the first uh, terrain and after um, uh, when uh, they constructed these two buildings the the terrain have a, a different um, ge geometry so it, it's one of the information that we want to have on the um, on the platform. Let's go back. We only have 20 minutes, so we need to go very fast. Um, another thing, it's uh, have access to the point cloud. Um, it's important to have the point, point cloud um, on the the platform because uh, if uh, um, I need uh, uh, make uh, I don't know a project I can I can give to the architect the point cloud and uh, they don't need to do again the the, the survey uh, this uh, here uh, it, it was done with uh, uh, an iPhone, uh, telephone, um, so um, some information was lost. But uh, once again, this is only a, a mock-up. So uh, next step, it's uh, do this with a um, 3D laser scanning and uh, a photogrammetic uh, survey to have uh, the right information. So this uh, it's, as you can see, when we approach the, the things, this is the photogrammetic information. Uh, once again, was done with the, the, the iPhone. Um, uh, we will have, we can have the FM uh, model. Um, it's important to have this um, to, to know what uh, we need to change on the buildings um, and uh, what uh, we have right now here. It's uh, um, uh, a point with pathologies in the, in the building. This model has a, a small error because the, the building is on the other side. I don't know why, but uh, we can register the, the pathologies um, on the on the on the IFC file, and we can have descriptions of what this happens, uh, and we can have um, we can have uh, a link. To, to the um, to the spreadsheets where we have uh, the 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 text information about that pathology. Uh, just a second to to open it. Okay, uh, uh, sorry, it's in Portuguese, but um, it's more or less uh, uh, you can understand. It's only to have a document. Uh, a register document uh, about the, what happens in this point of the the, the, the model. So we I, we have uh, some another uh, points market, but okay, we can have um, um, a gallery of uh, photos, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's important to. To study the the building, have some some photos, and uh, in the in the final, um, sorry, okay, I will always forgot the. The passwords. Uh, um, uh, okay. Uh, 
on the, the final uh, what we have it's um, text information the to the information um, uh, for instance uh, we can see here the um, the survey from from the um, from the the people who have done this work and um, it it was part or the start of the the, the making the 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 beam model so we started uh, reading this uh, kind of information this is from the ministry of culture in portugal and um, they have uh, the information so it's a good start point because we already have some work done and we can go to the to the to the to the on, on site and um, uh, we already have the study of the the building and we can uh, start uh, uh, placing the laser scan uh, more more faster because we already have uh, th that information so this is um, our first uh, mock-up uh, is not uh, finished we are working on on this uh, right now and um, yeah um, we are able to answer for uh, your questions and um, on the web page uh, hbeam.pt uh, you can have uh, the contact and um, we we appreciate your comments because uh, if uh, we work together uh, we can uh, do a, a better um, common data environment to add this beam so from now i'm uh, i'm ready to answer to your questions <laughs>